Actually, just as Nicholas Asari, um, a pharmacy student, uh, 2019, from Appalachian College of Pharmacy. And um, I was um, in the Dominican Republic doing um, medical rotation. And uh, what happened is that I came across something that is very interesting called mamawana. But actually, if you are not careful, the way it's been pronounced is mamawana not like marijuana so it's it's kind of very fascinating and very interesting when i came across this it is made up of um herbs which contains various kind of um, um roots so i actually did a little bit investigation and how mamawana is made so this is how it's made first of all um these are the roots and the roots I would use that I would say that the root is actually the active ingredient so when you get the root you put it in a bottle like this so after that what you have to do is that you get a red wine and this kind of red wine which is made up of almost 86 percent of water and the process of the red wine is that it will soak the active ingredients so let's 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 do it let's see what um, I have here let's start it okay here you go there's a red wine so first of all let's see how much is the volume of the whole bottle so let me see how the volume of the bottle is um probably let's see uh, there is not uh, probably let's assume that this is probably one liter 1.5 liter bottle so let's start let me see whether i'll pour so let's let me pour and see this is how it is mm, probably 200 ml will do or 300 ml will do so yeah um i think it needs more so let me go ahead and pour mm. hmm. okay so after that uh, after pouring it let's see um you go ahead and pour the 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 rum so i'm going to pour the rum because this contains uh, 13 percent and this actually contain um 21 percent so let me pour the rum and let's see and the honey comes first because the honey is going to soak up the the roots the active ingredient so let me pour it um, let me pour the whole thing that's how it's prepared yeah so I pour everything which is almost our 335 ml by volume so you can see that it's soaked in the roots so looking at it i still need more wine inside it before i'll pour the honey the honey will act as a extractor so let's see so let's um let me pour it and let's see let's see okay still need more i think the whole thing goes inside looking at it okay now everything is soaked into it so all what i have to do is to add the honey in in it so that the honey will act as an extractor because the honey will extract the active ingredients so let's see That's it. Let me add a little bit more. Okay, perfect. So, after doing this, work is done. 
so usually this whole thing will cost probably like fifty dollars when you are in the street of Dominican Republic so that's how much it cost and probably I spent like thirty dollars to do this so when I check the ingredients and the active um, ingredient for the roots and how the whole process is done it's usually used as aphrodisiac, uh, aphrodisiac. and um, when you find out the clinical data of this root, you realize that the root, for instance, one of the roots called um, um, cat claw, it's usually used to treat arthritis, diabetes, and all those things. So when this is done, all what you have to do is that you have to keep this thing for as long as a month, like 30 days before it will be fermented or things will be the roots the active ingredient will be extracted so when you finish drinking it you don't have to drink a lot just a shot of drink like probably a little shot like maybe a cup of, of drink and then when it's done you can refill it and this root can be kept for as long as 10 years by refilling it so this is mamawana not marijuana anyway but don't confuse the pronunciation it's called mamawana so this is how mamawana is made.